Hi guys, welcome to my new video and in this video I want to share with you my experience with my new and cute tablet XP Pen RT12. XP Pen was very kind to send me this tablet for review. This video is not sponsored and all opinions about this tablet are my own. I'm so excited to start this video and I hope you'll find it helpful. So let's start with unboxing. The packaging of the tablet is great, I especially like the colors. The color of the tablet itself is also really nice. By the way, you can choose other colors on the website, there are 4 options, I think all colors are beautiful. The drawing tablet is very light and feels comfortable in the hand. On the website you can find detailed information about the pen. I am very excited to try it on the practice. Next I can see that all little accessories like glove, instructions are also included. I personally don't use glove, but I know that many people do. The instructions can be very helpful too. I usually use them when I make a setup first time, and of course we need a wires to connect the tablet to computer. I am personally not the biggest fan of the wires, but at least the connection process is not too complicated. You can also find more details on the website or use the included instructions. It's very easy to follow and once you set it up, it will be very convenient, it will not be taking any time from you every day. I wanted to unpack the tablet nicely on the camera, but as you can see, I struggled a bit. Maybe it was my mistake. <laughs> After a few minutes of fighting with the plastic, I finally unwrapped it. My very first impression was that the tablet is built well. It feels very high quality. The screen of the tablet is matte. You can see the difference especially in this moment. For me, the matte screen is very significant. Because we spent a lot of time sitting at the table, damaging our eyes, and even small reflection on the screen can be very irritating, and our eyes can feel exhausted at the end of each day. So to turn on the tablet, I first connect the wires, three goes to the computer and one goes to the tablet. I was so excited to turn on the tablet for the first time, because I was so curious to see the colors and quality of the screen, and I was pleasantly surprised. The colors look great, the display has a full HD resolution and it feels nice on 12 inch size screen, everything looks sharp and I didn't notice any pixels. To make the tablet work properly, first we have to install the drivers. Go to the official website, choose your model, your operation system and download it. I am choosing here the latest version and downloading it. When you install it, just follow the steps, which are very easy. It's pretty intuitive, nothing is difficult at this moment. It's usually the same steps for all tablets. By the way, I uninstalled the driver from my other tablet, because I heard that sometimes two drivers can cause some issues for your drawing process. Let's look at the interface of this driver. So sorry, it's not in English, but I think everything is pretty similar to all the other languages. I didn't change anything for the screen settings, the only thing I changed is the pen sensitivity calibration. I immediately changed the position of the dots to make it similar to the settings on my other tablet, but later I changed back and left them as they were originally. It's very interesting that the pen sensitivity settings are different on different tablets, so I suggest you to pay attention to this moment too. To test the tablet, I decided to draw one of my characters, for this I am using Photoshop app. Photoshop has a lot of buttons and on smaller tablet the buttons look even smaller. At first I was nervous that the drawing process may be very difficult for me because I use a bigger tablet in my daily work, but I was pleasantly surprised that the process was so comfortable as usual. I didn't feel any difficulties with smaller buttons or small screen. I also want to distinguish the quality of the display. The colors look bright and deep enough where it's necessary. I want to mention again that I didn't notice any pixelations. The full HD screen makes this tablet feel very high quality. Few words about the pen. I am usually not very picky when it comes to drawing pens. I can say that it works decently. I didn't have any issues with it. Now I will leave you to watch a short speed painting of the drawing process, and at the end I will tell you my final thoughts about this tablet. If you want to skip the speed painting part, I will leave a timestamp here.
I completed the drawing and you can see now the final result. I can say that the result is at the same level with my other favorite works. So the tablet has everything that I need to let me draw comfortably. I love the colors and the sharpness and overall experience. Now I want to show you my other works just so you can see how the other colors look on the screen, the accuracy and the depth. Look at the sharpness and brightness of the colors. I am glad that I could show you the quality of the screen, because it's very hard sometimes to show the screen on camera. I had to set the lighting in the room to show you the tablet as close to real life as possible. I wanted to show you that I used my stand for holding the tablet on the right angle. On the official website you can also get the stand for the tablet if you need. I also used my keyboards for shortcuts. The tablet itself already have the nice roll of the buttons on the side, I think they can be very handy. Here I am showing you side to side comparison with my iPad, so you can see the difference in sizes. I think it's a great alternative for iPad, the screens are almost the same, the colors are good in both tablets. Now I want to show you the thickness of both tablets side to side. So let's make a conclusion of this review. I want to tell a few words about each aspect of this tablet. First, the price. The price on the official website is around 200 US dollars. I think it's a great price point for such a good quality. Next, the tablet frame. It's well built, it has high quality and doesn't feel cheap at all. The display. As I said before, I think it's perfect, bright colors and depth. The pen. I think it's decent. I didn't have any issues with it. The portability. It's light and small, but you need to have your laptop to use the tablet. So this concludes my review. If you have any other questions about this tablet, please feel free to contact me on my Instagram or here in the comments. I hope this video was useful for you. Big thanks to XP Pen Company for sending me this tablet. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it was helpful. Bye!